How's it going? I am coming at you from the beautiful Heart Lake at sunset here. And uh, you can see Algonquin and Wright Peak right behind me as the beautiful sunlight hits it. And the fall foliage, man, it is, it's happening. I'm actually recording this intro after I did McNaughton. It is actually the first intro I've ever recorded after the hike. And so I know what's yet to come. And yes, like I just said, today we are doing McNaughton, the 46er that never made it. It stands basically at about 4,000 feet tall. Uh, and there's absolutely no trail to the top. And I could tell you right now that there was not one high peak that I ever did that was as wet and muddy than this one. It makes the Cooksacraga Bog look like nothing. It makes Allen Mountain look casual. The stats are, it is anywhere between 16 and a half to 18 miles, depending on how accurate you are with your trajectory, and should take roughly around 10 to 11 hours to complete. The reason why this video is so important, it's because after finishing my 46 high peaks, I have only one real high peak left to do, and that's McNaughton, the 47th one. And also, What's crazy is that next Saturday, I am also doing McNaughton a second time, but this time with Brian and Brittany, the same people that I went up Rocky Peak Ridge and Giant with on a couple of videos back doing the new Russia Traverse. Reason being is because this video is from the Adirondack Lodge right here, which is the standard uh, route that people take to get to the McNaughton. Next Saturday, I'm gonna be doing it from Upperworks. Joining me today will be two experienced hikers, Kira, who is almost done with her 46 peaks, and Isaiah, who's only halfway done, but he's done most of the super hard peaks already, and he's already done McNaughton one time. He did it actually back in May, before he did any other high peaks, which is absolutely crazy. And he did Allen Mountain as his first. I also know it's been a while since I've also put another video up, and again, I'm sorry for that, but I have so many awesome videos aligned up to uh, bring to you over the next month or two. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna try to do that bushwhack from Allen to Redfield. I need to give you an Allen vlog. I need to do Whiteface and Esther. I need to do Cold in the regular way. I might do the Trap Deck a second time. I might do the Great Range Traverse. I'm gonna do a bushwhack to Kooks of Kraga. I wanna do the bushwhack from Dial Dix. There's so many that I'm gonna try to do before the winter and hopefully I'll be able to bring those to you guys. I've been able to meet so many of you and it's been awesome being able to see how these videos have touched you and it's touched me hearing that stuff too. So thank you. I'd be so grateful if you guys went ahead and shared this video and even gave it a thumbs up. Um, and look for that McNaughton one for next week. Again, I live here now in Lake Placid and um, I have so many things that I'm, I'm so looking forward to do and I'm really happy that you guys could be here with me doing that. Again, if you wanna stop and say hi to me ever, I work at High Peak Cyclery on Main Street in Lake Placid, right downtown. Um, feel free to just DM me or message me and see if I'm in. So. Anyways, enough with that intro. And um, I'm gonna be starting the video actually from right over here uh, two days ago. So uh, it's gonna be kind of a rough transition, but uh, without further ado, enjoy the grueling McNaughton. All right, you guys ready to get going? Yeah. yeah. So as we hike around Heart Lake, we're gonna be taking this up until we get to the Street and I intersection uh, with Indian Pass. And we're going to take Indian Pass to the left instead of doing Street and I to the right. And this will be a new trail for me. Okay, signing in. Uh, why do we sign in? For safety. So we can find our dead bodies. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Maybe that works. The question is, is anyone else doing McNaughton today? The last person to do McNaughton... What? Oh shoot, is today the 14th? Yes it is. Uh, oh, we got someone. Yeah, so uh, Isaiah just informed me that he uh, hasn't slept yet because he does uh, the night shift at his work. How are you feeling? I feel really energized actually. Really pumped. Yeah, he says that now. Feels good. <laughs> says that now. Also, we need to say one more thing about Isaiah. Um, so, I, yeah, I mentioned he did McNaughton before, but Kira here, Recommended it to him before he really did any high peaks. So he went and did it like in the snow all by himself And then and then he did Allen for his first high peak casual Okay, entering high peaks wilderness area and the sign says no bicycles or motor vehicles beyond this point You're telling me I can ride my bike on this trail all the way up to this sign <laughs> or my car huh, Why don't they put the parking lot over here? 
I'm really hating this wind. Guys, I haven't invested yet into a mic system, so if uh, one of you want to donate, that's fine, you know, low key. So we're already 2.1 miles in on uh, the total hike. Uh, the Indian Pass trail section from the turn off of Street and I is 3.1 miles. So we just approached the uh, first sign here. Upperworks, wow, hey, you guys want to hike the Upperworks instead? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Indian Pass, yeah, it's 2.8. Um, I guess the rest of the way, all the way to, I don't actually know what that means, but it's uh, what are you doing? Stretching. That's good. I didn't do that. So I think I've been waiting to do McNaught now for maybe, I don't know, like six months or whatever. And I wanted to do it with James Appleton, like I said earlier in the summer, but things didn't really work out. But next weekend, uh, like I said, I'm doing it with Brian and Brittany up the uh, upper works bushwhack so that's going to be pretty intense i also have something tonight at like 6 or 7 p.m so let's uh hope i can make it back to that and so because indian pass trail is so flat and boring and it looks just like everything else out here i probably won't show too much of it because you guys are here to see mcnaughton not indian pass trail Man, I didn't realize the bushwhacking was gonna start this early. <sighs> hey, why, why, why'd you stop? Well, I was, I was like... Wait, where are you going? The trail's this way. I, I, I know there's a wood, a wood plank going across there, but we need to, we need to go. We have to go through this. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. Holy crap, whoa. Oh man, that is slippery. All right, we're going across this one here. Oh my gosh. Whoa, oh. <laughs> All right, coming up to the Indian Pass lean-to campsite. Nice. All right, how far in are we? How far do you think we're in? Uh, Four miles. I think 3.8. 3.8? Nailed Whoa. it. <laughs> Looks like Isaiah is at the uh, turnoff. You see a sign for McNaughton? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we've gone four hour or four. We've gone four miles. We've got the wall face ponds in two something. Two and a half miles, I think it's about. We're gonna have Isaiah lead the way here. Good. How are you guys liking so far? It's gorgeous. You good? Will you give me five stars and yelp? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> what? What? I'm so Hey, okay, lead the way, dude. Go for it. <laughs> no. Lead the way. I can't. Why? You guys are picking on me. <laughs> no, lead the way. Go. Choose. Which way are we going? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're heading down to the river now. And we'll cross this and then start ascending to the wall face ponds. And it's two and a half miles. And it'll probably be more of the harder part of the day because it's the most ascending in uh, the course of a certain distance, I guess, and... So as we're going up to the wall face pines, we're starting to enter the cloud level. And we pass the two guys that are also going up here. <laughs> it is just past 9.30, and I think we're making great time. We're averaging like a 22 minute mile. Got my cliff bar out, and uh, we'll probably be to the wall face ponds in like 30 minutes. I'm starting to get super wet now. I um, feel like I wet myself. How are your legs? I feel dry. You feel dry? Yeah, no raincoat. Well, yeah. that's because I'm getting all the water for you. See, it's weird. It's that my legs being wet isn't going to affect my hiking ability, but it affects my mentality because it feels really weird and it's very distracting. We got our own mini Kooksakraga bog over here. Oof, this is nasty. Whoa. Oh man, I'm getting so wet. Oh gosh. Oh man. Jeez, they really don't want us to get to this mountain today.
Hey, uh, came up to the sign. Apparently, it says it's 1.2 miles to the Wall Face Ponds, but I highly doubt that. And the, the fog here is getting pretty neat. Uh, so going through the woods, right after that stone area, um, it started to lose its trail a little bit. I'm actually surprised that this doesn't look as maintained as it looked like on the map. So upon further analysis, we looked at our phones, and apparently we are off the trail. So. Uh, I guess do not follow the ribbons. So, if you find yourself following the ribbons in the woods and the trail automatically just stops, turn around. So, looking again at the map, it actually looks like that was the um, bushwhack to the summit of Wallface. The ribbons are not right. Oh. Oh. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to go this way. Well, what did we learn? Don't follow the ribbons. Don't follow the ribbons. Great, perfect. Great views. Oh yeah, I love the nest. Yeah, my lens is getting a little wet, as you can clearly see. And my camera, and my body. Go for it, take it up, take it up. Wow. <laughs> oh no. That oh gosh. Barely got in right oh here. boy. This is so far worse than any high peak. With with the trails is what I mean. This is way worse than Kooksakraga. Way worse. Ooh. How you doing? Pretty good, just fell. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yep. Well, I'm glad I got my gators on today. <laughs> Sid, you want to fall again for Instagram content? <laughs> uh, nah. I'm good. Oh, hey there. Nice day for a hike. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like a detour? Oh, we just wanted to go check out Wallface. <laughs> yeah. Um, we right after the stone the stone work. You so, the, you went to the we, yeah, and there was ribbons, right. but then we were like, after the third ribbon, we're like, let's double check. We did that too, and then we came back. And then oh. we bushwhacked through wow. the woods, thinking it'd be uh, not that bad. It was the wrong decision, for sure. We didn't go... There are no good decisions to be made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now we have approached the end of the main tained trail system. Ah, oh, great, there's another flag. Do we follow it this time? No. Well, what else could it be going to this I time? don't know. Well, let's just see what it is. Oh, yeah, no, no, we have to, this is the crossing in between the two. Yep. Let's send it. <laughs> well, if we weren't wet before, cross this. Wow, this is incredible. After uh, going around the lake a little bit, uh, right before you connect to the second lake, you will see a herd path opening into the woods. And you go there and then follow it until you hit this drainage. Yeah, so uh, upon further analysis, there are just herd paths in between the drainage and these rivers here. And so, kind of just keep following it. You'll see somewhat of a route that people have made. So after you get past the lakes here, 
following the herd paths. It really just becomes uh, every man for himself, follow, make your own path, I guess. There's a tons of blow down here, so it's easy to get a direction. Nice. There she is. I know I've said this a few times, but just, just enjoy watching this. Our misery. This is wet and cold. My feet are swimming, but I always got that extra pair of wool socks. We just uh, heard people. Like, what? There's people right here. Well, my feet are now 100% completely soaked and submerged from inside of the water. Yeah. How did they get in front of us again? So, I'm probably gonna have really wrinkly and disgusting feet after this. But the good thing is, is tomorrow, I actually have an hour-long pedicure in Lake Placid. So, so as you keep following the drainage here, it's gonna, it's gonna get a little more narrow. Um, but just follow the drainage all the way until it ends. That is right before the shoulder on the mountain. Then you start to turn to the left slightly, about a 45 degree angle. Oh man, sorry about my lens guys, it's unfortunate. And uh, I think we deviated just a little bit off course. This definitely is hard to follow, but either way, there still isn't necessarily a distinct trail. It is just after 12 o'clock now. So we're going a little slower than I wanted to, but. Oh, hello. So it looks like we probably have about a few hundred feet until we get to the main summit ridge line. We're still on the shoulder a little bit. So as uh, you start getting up to the, uh, the ridge, this trail actually starts to become uh, more distinct here that we're on. So you can see here, distinct footpath. Praise. Getting out here. Oh man. Oh man. Woo! Yeah. Wow, there actually would be views up here. No way. Look at that. And it's spelled wrong too, guys. That's not how it's spelled. Just letting you know. Oh yeah. McNaughton Mountain. High peak number 47. Now what? Well, just five hours, seven minutes in. Nice. 33 minute mile, which is not bad considering. All right. So we're gonna go back to the other spot we were just at and uh, eat a little bit. All right, well, and, uh, I guess time to walk back now. The eight and a half miles back to my car. Yay! Yeah, Kira and I were just kidding about saying, oh man, what if we went back and they just were gone and they disappeared? Uh, but Isaiah just went back to look for them and now they're nowhere. Time to break out the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What have you got? Crackers, cheese, and pepperoni. Nice. We're currently getting wet. Hmm. What were you eating? Stewart sandwich. A wet Stewart sandwich? Mm hmm. Yep. Yum. <laughs> Whew, all right. Shall we? We shall. <laughs> whoa, whoa. You know, we have no idea where those guys went. Rest in peace. But you're probably fine. I hope. <laughs> Here comes the sun. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have your back up there. Uh, so like on a scale of one to seven, I would say my miserableness right now is a five. Seven being like, I'm just gonna crawl up and die. Okay, maybe not a five, maybe a four. My feet are just like non-existent now. Dude, what are you doing? You know, gradually falling. <laughs> Did you bring your snowshoes? <laughs> no, I can't get out. Ugh. We're good. <laughs> 
So apparently to her phone, we have gone off the trail to the east. Hmm. All right, so after deviating off the trail for like an hour, we have finally made it back to the brook. So the brook's right here. And uh, we just follow this back now. Well, you can do this again next week if you want, but I'm going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so what happened there towards the end of the summit for you guys? We did both summits. Oh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, I know, again, it's really hard to see this, um, but we just, for some reason, somehow did a huge circle. And uh, we already went across this one time. And now we're going across it a second time. <laughs> I don't know which is easier. This doesn't look very easy. So that way. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so this is now. Wait, there's the river. Oh, so before. We're facing that way. Yeah, so uh, things are just getting worse now for my camera. Hopefully, I'll make it back alive and you'll see all this footage. But uh, we uh, made it. Finally. Oh, that was awful. This is the beginning of the maintained trail. We did it. We did it somehow. That camera did it too. <laughs> Going across this stuff, a million times worse than Cooch. For sure. Just getting down as fast as we can. I'm not gonna show too much until I can get my camera lens cleaned off. Back to the lean twos. Hey, so I know my camera's still uh, fogged up, but listen, when you get back to this stone area that you saw a while back in the video, you're gonna to come to an intersection and we completely missed this where you go left or you can go right, which is a lot less obvious. There's a sign right here way up high that says trail and it also points this way. But we just came from this way and this is the way we went from before. So when you get to the stone bridge, check your maps. I'm not exactly sure what direction you need to go, but my guess is you would need to go right. Apparently I left my wool socks at home and uh, I also uh, lost my lens hood. Um, my feet are uh, pretty muddy and my feet are now dry and lovely for now and my feet are having a wonderful swimming lesson yeah well his used to be white Actually, his used to be white I don't think a sock has ever felt as good as like I've never enjoyed a sock so much in my life it's well my I'm happy for you <laughs> not to rub it in or all right, so now we have 4.8 miles to get back to the car. Yeah, uh, you yelled at me and said get on your level and said 3.8. No, it was 4.8. Yeah, it is, uh, it is 3.8 miles. It's only 3.1 miles to the lean-to from the street and I turn off, so I was wrong again. <sighs> yeah, so hiking McNaughton this coming Saturday. The second time with Brian and Brittany is definitely going to be quite interesting. I don't know, would, would you guys hike it again? I did hike it again. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I consider maybe trying the other way to see how it differs, but definitely not in a week. All right. Oh, so we've gone 2.8 miles? That sounds pretty good to me. That's pretty good. We could... And there's the sign. Now we can start biking. Yeah, now we can get on our bikes and start going. <sighs> Just entering Heart Lake. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the video? Um yourself to do McNaughton. So we probably did it closer to like 17 and a half miles with all the uh, bushwhacks and every, all the uh, going off trail. We went off trail so many times guys. It is absolutely a killer of a trail to follow. It's actually like challenging. So when you do it, if you do it, if you are not proficient in bushwhacking and the logic and understanding of the trails um, and you don't necessarily feel confident with that, don't attempt it by yourself. I mean, I consider myself a very seasoned person out here in the woods and it was even hard for me to follow. So that's gonna be interesting to see how uh, McNaughton next weekend on Saturday works out with Brian and Brittany. So that's gonna be interesting. And then I have a lot of things that I'm hoping to do here in the next three to four weeks. So look forward to that. You guys are awesome. I love meeting all of you guys. It's really, it's really great. So never, we're probably just gonna go get Wyatt's burritos at the end of this. I haven't said that in such a long time, guys, but seriously, if you're ever in Lake Placid and you're on a budget, 
why it has the best Tex-Mex or burritos you'll ever eat in your entire life. It's Chipotle on steroids. They're awesome. Just, if you see them, say Jonathan sent you. All right, guys, well, I'll see you next time. Oh, man, I'm gotten next week.